In this video, we are going to work on matching the graph of f with the graph of its derivative. So the idea here is that we have a graph of f over here, and we have to figure out which of these three graphs over here, which are derivative graphs, matches with this graph on the left. So before we try to figure out which matches which, let's figure out um, or write down some features of the graphs of f over here. So when I look at this first graph, the first thing I notice is that it's a line and it has a positive slope. So we have positive slope. And the other thing is that that slope is constant. So with lines, the slope is constant. Okay, so let's look at graph B. So at graph B, again, our F is increasing this whole time. So the whole, throughout the whole graph, we have positive slope. And um, we can think about this a little more, and we can probably come up with some information about how the slope is changing. So if we draw in tangent lines, over on the left here, our slope is positive. And then as we move towards the right, it gets smaller, but still positive. And then we start getting bigger again. So this is larger. So that means we go from a positive to a smaller positive back to a larger positive. So our slope is decreasing, then increasing. Okay, so let's look at graph C. So graph C, our function is increasing over here and it's decreasing over here. And right here at about x equals 2, we have a zero slope. So f prime at 2 is 0. Over here, we have positive slopes. So for x less than 2, slope is positive. And for x greater than 2, so over here our function is decreasing, our slopes of our tangent lines are negative, so slope is negative. Okay, now, so we've described what we know about the slopes of our graphs A, B, and C, and the key thing here is that the slope of this graph is going to match the y value of this graph, because if this is our derivative graph, this graph represents the slope. So let's look at what we have here. So try to figure out which graph A goes with. So wherever I see the word slope, and I'm trying to translate it to the graphs over here, I need to be thinking the y value over here. So I say positive slope. That means I want to have positive y values. So if I look at this first graph, I have positive y values here, but I have negative y values here. So it cannot be graph 1 because I have negative y values here. Graph 2, so um, are our y values positive? Yes, the y values are positive the whole time for graph of f prime. And are the y values constant? So wherever I see that word slope, I'm thinking y value when I translate it to the graph of f prime. So are the y values constant here? And sure enough, the y values stay the same for all x. So a matches 2. Let's just go ahead and um, see why a won't go with 3. So are the y values positive? That's true. The y values are always positive for graph 3, but are the y values constant? And 
see here how our y values aren't constant. Over here they're decreasing, over here they're increasing. So graph 3 won't work. Okay, so this one here we say goes with A. Okay, so let's look at graph B. So again, we have positive slope, so that means our y values are positive. So up here, I can rule this one out because here I have positive y values and over here I have negative y values. So if I am trying to figure out which this which graph this one goes with, we've already said it can't be 2. It can't be 1 because here I've got positive y values, here I've got negative y values. So it has to be graph 3. Let's look at graph 2 just to make sure that we can understand why it can't be graph, graph 2. So we do have positive y values, but our slope has to be decreasing then increasing. So our y values have to be decreasing and increasing. And graph 2, that, that won't work because the y values remain constant. Okay, so graph 3, let's make sure this matches. Are the y values always positive? Yep. Okay. Is this, are the y values decreasing then increasing? So over here the y values are decreasing and over here the y values are increasing. So this definitely is graph B. So by elimination we know that this has to be graph C, but let's um, make sure that it, it, it works. So the first thing I have is that the slope, the y value, at 2 is 0. So if I look at this graph, at 2, that slope, that y value of f prime is 0. For x less than 2, the y value is positive. Over here, y values are positive. For x greater than 2, y values are negative. Over here, the y values are negative. So this definitely is graph C. So again, the key here is to think of the slope of the graph of f is going to match that y value of the graph of f prime. And these are going to take a little practice to get the hang of. So keep at it and try several in your homework, and there's more in your book, and you'll get it.